congratulations on the film, Mr. Thank Seth. You. It is amazing. Thank you. And you are wonderful in it. Thank you. <laughs> As a writer, what did you think when you first saw the script by Aaron Sorkin? Um, it made me very uh, angry and jealous uh, because it was so well conceived of and well executed. <laughs> and so as a writer, uh, it made me very self-conscious and therefore angry, uh, which is the sign you're reading something good, generally speaking. And so it really, yeah, it, it, it blew me away. It was, um, you know, uh, structurally it was just so unconventional and it was just so impressive to me that, you know, that people can still come up with new ways of telling stories. I mean, it's it's hard to do, <laughs> and and Aaron, in the script, one hundred percent came up with something that I've never really seen in a movie, which is, especially a movie like this, like about a real person. It was very impressive. It is also simplistically beautiful. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like it's it, like an Apple computer. <laughs> <laughs> very good. But yet you need to get used to the operating system yeah. for the first five minutes, and then once you're in, you're fully in. Yeah, I think again, um, even for me, the movie was so different than I thought it was going to be uh, in watching it. But it's true. I think after uh, a few minutes, you just you're not even thinking about. Right. It, it feels like a movie. I think right. that's what I like most about it is it doesn't feel like it's trying to necessarily, you don't feel like you're being fed information about a guy. You feel like you're watching a very exciting, fast paced movie. And that's what's, that's what to me was so impressive about it. Is a lot of times movies about a guy are like, oh, and then he did this, and then he did this, right. and look at this. This doesn't feel like that. That feels like, even if it was all completely made up, it would be a very fun movie to watch, you know? Let's talk about was this crucifix. Yeah. So the line that stayed with me, and this is an amazing line, I'm tired of being Ringo and everyone knows I'm John. <laughs> right? Yeah. Do you agree with that? Um, I don't know if I agree with that necessarily. I don't know if was was John. I don't know if he was Ringo necessarily. Right. Maybe Paul. Maybe Paul or George. <laughs> but, uh, or, I mean... Waz was more like the guy, honestly, who invented the guitar, and then Steve was like John. Like, right. um, that, I think, is probably a better analogy for it. Um, like, I think that a lot of the flair and, honestly, the idea that computers were something that everyone would want and the, and, and, and the knowledge of how everyone would want them presented to them was 100% it seems like coming from Steve Jobs' lead. Um, and Waz, as much as he wanted a computer personally for himself, was not thinking, oh, this will change every, this is something everyone will want, and if we make it look like this, everyone will want it more, and if we do this, they'll want it more. He was more thinking, I just want to play with a computer. How do I make one that I can play with? And so uh, it, the fact that we all... I mean, it's debatable. It's completely debatable. But it, it's 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 hard to argue that Steve Jobs didn't uh, lead the charge of making computers something that were heavily integrated into all of our day-to-day -day lives, not just a select few people's day-to-day right. -day lives. Another line I love, kindness and genius are binary. Or yeah. is it? Uh, I think it is. I know a lot of really smart, nice people. <laughs> like, <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm... I almost think at times it's the opposite. I mean, Steve Jobs was clearly both an asshole and a genius, so right. they're not mutually exclusive. But I think that I know a lot of very intelligent people are secure enough in their intelligence to not lash out at others and right. uh, belittle them, right. um, which it seems like it was something that he did. Real quick, what's your favorite Apple product? Um... I don't know, the iPod was... Oh, yeah, right? Yeah. Mine is Apple Care Plus. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you Thank so much. Thank you so much.